tell me if this has ever happened to you. You'll be in a discussion or maybe even a debate and somebody will make a statement like, all amphibians are green. And then you say, wait, are all frogs green? And then they say, hey, I didn't say that. There's some subset of people that like these very basic logical implications are just lost on them. Like it's just not even in the cards for them to understand that. Obviously, a, if you're saying, which is not true of course, all amphibians are green, it would mean that all frogs are green. But the, they're just focused on whether they said that or not, which shows you they're not playing a logic game they're doing that like postmodern thing where you're just trying to get people to repeat things you've said, or you're just trying to popularize slogans or phrases. That's the kind of thinking that says, hey, I didn't say that. We got a sick morning roundup for you today. Look at this sick ukulele hanger. This chihuahua trash can, absolutely sick. This pug trash can, completely sick. And I think this one got sick somewhere in the middle there. This sick D20, a sick shark, so sick, sick shark. Another sick D20, and of course the sickest the pipe trash can. You're not really seeing much of it right now. About to start the first roll for the day. We're waiting for this to get into the 170s. Oh yeah, the sound of money. Time to fix up these two moais. About to get into packaging these little guys but it is good time to get some coffee. I just got a nice custom job on a uh, chat here. I'm making a dragon, I don't know how to describe this. I'm making a business card holder for a tattoo artist. This lady is really cool and it's gonna like have a tattoo gun and a dragon's claw or something. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it, but I know it'll look awesome. I love dealing with other artists because like anyone that's done custom work out there that's artistic in nature, one thing you discover almost instantly is that nobody has any taste <laughs> or just they just want boring things and like this is actually going to be pretty fun. Let's get this bean water. I just got a message from somebody else wanting to do another custom project. It's about time. I haven't had custom work in maybe about a week. Some guy almost just backed out in front of me. The people I don't understand are the people who back out when they can't see, but they do it quickly. Like maybe sometimes you have to back out where you can't really see, but you just do that very slowly because nobody will probably just purposefully run into you. But if you just do it like 55 miles per hour, like you're just an idiot. We need to do some filtering, but I think I'm gonna clean up this desk a bit. It's been a minute. Technically, a lot of this I could actually use and I could filter it and stuff, but there could be contaminants, so we're just gonna throw it away. There, that's kind of better. It's basically not gonna be possible to get that off. The machine sets more uh, firmly once there's no scrap. So this has been cooking for um, about a day, something like that, maybe a little bit less. And we adjusted the temperature so we sh hopefully won't get that, um, that melted together sheet that was on the top. Oh yeah. Yep, nothing's melted together. And that is bone dry right there. You can always tell by doing this, just seeing how it comes off. You got a little bit 
a little bit of um, powder, but nothing major. Yeah. Anyone that doesn't know, you can't have any moisture in the stuff that you're extruding uh, to make filament. Because, like, well, I don't have a sophisticated reason for why you can't do it, other than it just doesn't work. Like, uh, any 3D printing people know that their filament itself can get moist. So you don't, also don't want the stuff you're making filament with to have moisture in it. A lot of times it'll pop or come out weird or whatever it is, it doesn't work. You might remember that we rebuilt this tumbler at the beginning of the series and it has pretty consistently worked. None of the stuff is wearing out. Every once in a while the motor comes out of alignment, but it's easy to put it back. It's been a real trooper. So let's put this in. There we go, sits way more level. Try to like put it on this, yeah, so that doesn't move. Well oiled machine here. Bam, it's a thing of beauty. Now that we're good and caffeinated, mm, I'm a Duncan boy. Let's get into packaging these guys to go out Monday. Maybe we'll just uh, start with the Italian hand here. You can see how I did a little bit of subtle shading kind of emphasize the, uh, whatever you call it, the shape. I think we'll do a little music for this. If you've never listened to Bruce Hornsby, you're missing out. fine particulate matter. I think the stretch goal for the day is gonna to be to try to actually get all this cleaned up so we can get rolling on the second filament setup. Before that though, it's time to get these Sharkos ready for painting. There, it came out pretty good, so it shouldn't be too hard. Got a little bit of stringage here. Most of this came out quite nice though. I love you like a This is a little random, but I'm gonna show you what I really bought the calculator for. So on this trade, this is a short, and it's measured at 1.31%. 
In other words, the distance between this line, the bottom of that candle, and the top of this wick is 1.31%. And that's how much we're risking because we're counting on it going down. So I'm going to multiply 1.31% times 1.5 because that's the risk to reward ratio. So we'll type in 131, then multiply 1.5. And that means we need to measure it at 196. Maybe we'll say 197 just to be on the safe side. So because of the prices, it's hard to get the exact amount, but this shows you what that price is, what this price level is, which is 2%. So we'll probably go like 28.49. And that means that you can see that the short is already headed in that direction. Like this, this candle is where I bought in, and when this new candle formed, that's the amount of profit I have so far. So it's kind of headed in the right direction. But anyway, when it hits this price is when we're gonna sell, and that's gonna be slightly less than 2%. Repeated the same process for both of these. These are both shorts, and um, yeah, Litecoin and Avalanche. Last bin of plastic. Time to package this giant coffee boy. Man, it looks so good. I hope more people order it in this color. All right, this sucker is ready to go out Monday. Just so you guys know, the grapefruit flavored soda is amazing. Very cool Socrates headphone stand. Octo boy. A Moai 2 headphone stand. Wrapping up for tonight. This D20 is looking good. This is a new alien design that we're printing. We're redoing the small T-Rex skull. Got that sick Octo over there. And this is a Celtic skull. Another D20. And this, of course, is the famous pipe trash can. So far, so good. Another pretty good day. Really nothing went wrong. Everything printed right. Made an unbelievable amount of filament. You ever get that feeling when everything's going right that you're just like afraid it's all gonna fall apart? Cause I'm kind of, things have been so good. I'm not sure whether I've like kind of mastered the game or like there's just something I'm really forgetting. I don't know. I've thought of everything I can think of. Feels good, I've got two um, new products that are in the works. One will be done tomorrow so we can take photos of that. Uh, today's Sunday, so the last day of the week and we only introduced one new product, which is unfortunate. But it's going good. It was a really good week of sales and got recycling done. Pretty much did everything this week that I, I could have wanted myself to do. I guess I haven't quite cleared the space out for the new filament setup, but we made a little bit of progress and hopefully we can get that done in a couple of days. So I'm grateful that there is not currently a crisis and that everything is just going smoothly. Sometimes you have to take these moments to realize that nothing's wrong, basically, and just appreciate it. Because it seems like we only notice our lives when there's some kind of problem. And that's probably a really bad thing. Like, everything's just kind of going good. I'm earning good money. The recycling thing, which I developed over months and months, is basically working flawlessly. I've got the filament production all sorted out. There's very little to uh, there's very little to be concerned about, so I'm grateful to be get heading into October with very few major concerns. So tell me in the comments, you the gratitude gang of which I am a member as well. Tell me in the comments what you're grateful for, what you got going on, what projects you're doing. Tell me your dreams, your aspirations, or just write random nonsense and I will read it. 
Peace out, everybody. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna be grateful for. I had two winning trades um, on the same day, which is very rare. Anyway, tell me in the comments all the things I just said. Peace out.